Hey Solano family, we're back after a wonderful vacation and excited to jump back into life with our church family. Hey, this Sunday we're going to be starting a new series in Psalm 23 called Rhythms of Life. Back when I was in college, I was in a choir and we would sing these pieces and there'd be these long gaps in the middle of the piece and we were all supposed to wait to come in at just the right time and inevitably during the rehearsal, somebody would miscount and they would come in full voice singing all by themselves and of course the rehearsal would disintegrate at that point everybody would start laughing you know sometimes when we're walking with god it feels like that like we're out of step we're out of rhythm with what god is doing and i'll tell you psalm 23 is a handbook for living in the rhythm of god and that leads to abundant life it leads to freedom it leads to what dallas willard calls a life without lack i've been waiting for so long for the opportunity to preach through Psalm 23, not just on one Sunday, but just taking one line per week. And that's what we're gonna do over the course of August and partly into September. And I'm so encouraged already by what I'm learning, and I'm excited for you also to journey with me on this deep dive into Psalm 23, into really the presence of God in our lives. And so here's some things that you could do to prepare for our upcoming series. Start memorizing Psalm 23. 23. You know, when I'm, you have these nights where you, you're lying there awake. When I'm lying there awake at night, I just repeat Psalm 23 in my head and it starts to reframe my circumstances. It brings me back into the rhythm of what God might be doing in my life and it leads to that sense of abundance and peace and freedom. And so Psalm 23 is an incredible tool that we've been given by the Lord because he loves us, because he's our shepherd, because he dwells with us, because he's present with us. We go into this this new year, the fall, and, and just thinking of all the things that you want to accomplish, all the things that God wants to do in you, all the things that we want to do together, there is no better way for us to prepare than to dig into a text like Psalm 23. So get excited, start memorizing Psalm 23, join us on Sunday, 10 a.m. It's our last one service Sunday, so 10 a.m. we'll all be together and we will start this journey together. We'll see you then.